multiple subroutines. A program can have multiple subroutines. This subroutine is called wait. This subroutine is called ABC. And this subroutine is called reverse. When the subroutine call L call reverse is executed, the program jumps to the reverse subroutine. Upon completing the subroutine, the program returns to the instruction just after the L call reverse instruction. The operation is similar for the L call wait and the L call ABC. Let's take a look at another example. You can have a subroutine call inside a subroutine. This is subroutine reverse. This is subroutine wait. Inside the reverse subroutine, there is a subroutine call to the wait subroutine. When the L call reverse is executed, the program jumps to the reverse subroutine. While running the reverse subroutine, the L call instruction is executed. This caused the program to jump to the wait subroutine. Upon completion of the execution of the wait subroutine, the program returns to the instruction just after the L call wait and continues to run from there. When the return instruction in the reverse subroutine is encountered, the program returns to the instruction just after the L call reverse. Let's take a closer look at the program in its assembly listing form. The execution of the L call reverse causes the return address to be stored in the stack. The stack pointer is initially at 07. The return address 1239 is stored in the stack and the stack pointer is adjusted to 09. The program then jumps to the reverse subroutine. While running in the reverse subroutine, the L call wait instruction is encountered. The execution of the L call wait causes the return address to be stored in the stack. 124E is stored in the stack and the stack pointer is adjusted to 0B. The program jumps to the wait subroutine. The program continues to run until it hits the return instruction. The return instruction takes two bytes from the stack and places it in the program counter. The stack pointer is then lowered to 09. Since the program counter contains 124E, the program jumps to that location. The program continues to execute here. Another return instruction is encountered. This return instruction takes another 2 bytes of data from the stack and places it in the program counter. The stack pointer is lowered to 07. Since the program counter contains 1239, the program jumps to that location.